Welcome to the dream. So this is going to be a CK3 after the end campaign played as Paul Mahonic. Our goal is going to be to restore the uh, the kingdom of New England, to reform the Salemite faith to be uh, something that will help us make the sorts of religious sacrifices that we need to make in order to ensure that whatever terrifying beast Paul has had visions of, of sleeping under Boston, uh, whatever whatever terrifying monstrosity is down there, he is sworn to to by his his blood oath to his father to help protect the world, even if it means becoming a monster in turn. So his his goal is gonna be a lot of conquering. So just just uh, prepare yourself emotionally for that. Um, but we are going to go ahead and probably just be, oh, well, let's let's see what happens. We we did set up a couple of uh, wedding cel celebration things. All right, so we're gonna increase the size of our army. I'm not gonna talk about as much of the the mechanics because these are gonna be pretty similar to the mechanics of, of Crusader Kings 3, except in regards to like the lore. If the lore is different, then I'm certainly going to talk about that. I may end up talking about the lore in like a separate entire uh, playlist of videos. Because the, the lore for CK3 after the end is so crazy. But in the meantime, it is our it is our destiny to reunify um, Boston. So we are going to need to do that as quickly as possible. Hey, we completely destroyed their, their army. Cool. Um, well, one, Bruno, Bruno, you have a level 3 renowned physician trait. Unfortunately, the rest of your stats are kind of bad, but that's level 3 is good enough. And we have begun the Siege of Plymouth. Paul is probably also going to do a lot of raiding in this game, because we need money. Um, and that is one of the more reliable ways to get it. Meantime, I think it might make sense to start a plot against Onesiphorus. You know, if he dies, he's 73 years old. It won't really surprise anybody. But Onesiphorus is, is an incredibly powerful warlord, right? 20 martial, 25 learning, 15 stewardship. He's, he's a very, very scary enemy. Whereas if you can uh, have him die and have his territory is divided between his daughters, they are a lot easier to, to defeat in battle. So that is going to be our goal. Because if, if we can seize control of all of this territory... Um, and therefore of the, the High Chiefdom of Boston, um, we'll be able to start having count subjects, uh, which is the necessary step for us to really start growing. Because right now we are still the, the Count of Boston. We're not, not particularly big yet. Oh, we captured, captured you. Fine, but not exciting. No, it's too risky. We don't need success chance, we'll get there. And we just don't have the money. Money is going to be really tight for us for a little while because we are we are starting from almost nothing. So we had the the Mahonics had been this terrifying force of uh, elder god worship um, just marching out of New England and, and like terrorizing most of the, the northern coast of the, the United States. Uh, yeah, you know what? We'll ransom you. We need some cash. So that way we get your money and your territory. And now... We can start, I think. We've got, ooh, education? Diplomacy? Okay. Our wife, Teresa? Are we... We are still swaying you, aren't we? Yeah, we're swaying. We're swaying our court priest, because right now he's uh, not particularly happy with us. You could become the uh, the leader here. So we... Oh, we need to start some raids. Let's raise all his raiders. So who shall we subject first to our terror? You know what? Let's go to Cape Cod. Let's go to Cape Cod. I hear Cape Cod is beautiful this time of year. I've actually been to Cape Cod to the uh, the Cape Cod potato chip factory. That was, that, was, that was fun. Raid on Barnstable Town. If you're going to give us a claim to your land, we might as well take it. No. We're not giving you 50 gold. I have faith in your ability to kill Onesiphorus. Chieftain Patrick Kennedy is about to to mess with the Mahonics. Sorry, buddy. Absolutely. Onesiphorus. Cheers. <laughs> Onesiphorus is dead. And with that, now the, the territory is actually starting to be split up between um, 
the heirs of Onesiphorus. We have a high chiefdom of Rhode Island is separate from the high chiefdom of Boston now. And she's much, much weaker. And we're about to get our claim here. So we can even start a, uh, a faction to demand the territory from Boston. Ooh, ba Paul, you, you lucky dog, you, you lucky dog, you. Let's see what Barnstable comes. All right, so we could just take uh, an unpressed claim on the High Chieftain of Boston, which is what this whole thing is about. So yeah, we'll just take all of Boston. Good deal. Well, now that we have a claim on the High Chieftain, um, all we need to do is get money uh, so that we can fight a war against her. And we will, oh, or we could even start a claimant faction for me. We can send an ultimatum in seven months. Well, we'll see if we have the, uh, the ability to, to fight um, Francesca if she says no, but I think we'll be all right because we, we are a much better military commander. And once, we, once we've taken back control of Boston, we'll be in great shape. Um, that'll, that'll really get the Mahonic ball rolling because Paul knows that the only way that we are going to, that we are going to do this is if he can, if he can start accumulating real power, right? We can't, we can't do this without, without taking control of all of New England. And look how big Boston is now because we've grown so much inside of it. All right, we got a new perk for our war warfare. Um, I think because we may end up fighting, um, we are gonna take organized march. Can we invite anybody else? We can't, we don't wanna force people to join. We want them to join on their own. The High Chiefdom of Connecticut? Are you raiding us back? Is that what's going on over here? So the, the High Chiefdom of Connecticut, they are these um, constitutionalists. So this is an Americanist faith. So what they've done in, in the CK3 version of the mod is they've taken a lot of the things that were once one religion and broken them up into a couple, which I think is very fun because um, it means that now they can explore a lot more really crazy um, distaff religions. So just looking in the faith mode, you can see it's it's a lot more uh, it's a lot more complicated than it was in the CK2 mod, which I'm really excited about because we're we're gonna do some weird stuff in this game. Boston conquest of the chiefdom of Hillsboro. Well, you can you can do that if you really want to, uh, Francesca, but I don't think you're gonna be happy with the results because we are gonna attack you from behind and besiege Merrimack. And then we'll be, and then we'll be pretty good. Good. Now we're no longer in debt, which means that this is going to be even easier for us to send an ultimatum at any time. All right. Um, so now it's up to you, Francesca. Are you going to stand in the way? Then war it is. We are, uh, we are fighting and we, we even have an ally. Um, the chieftain of Worcester decided to join us. So excellent. This will this will be it. Paul is gonna is gonna take control of of Boston in like five years, and then um, I think that might be the first episode. Oh, we won Merrimack. All right. Well, let's go drive off the the jerks over here. Our wound, our Ethel wounded their Ethel. Okay, that's that's cool. Our, our siege weapons are going to make very quick progress in regards to reunifying the, the land of Vincent Mahonic. Oh my god, it's going to be it's going to be just a little a little short, just a little short of 4th of July, but, but that's OK. It's five years to re to take control of Boston. Yes. All right. So we got it. We have we can now enforce the these uh, demands. And we have become Paul of Boston. Oh, we are a duke. Oh man, it is it is happening, everybody. We became the head of the Letterman culture. Okay, we will um, actually probably disband our troops and then raise all again. We'll go ahead and hire a holy order. Because the holy order, when we're defending, it's only going to cause uh, cost some piety, and we are gonna we're gonna benefit from it. Because we are going to be able to not just um, defeat them on in the field of battle, but we'll be able to take some of their money too. 
And of course, through this conquest, we are going to create the most precious resource for the Mahonics um, in their quest to cont contain whatever monstrosity they have captured here. We are giving it blood. Uh, we need to conquer South. We need to we need to pick this stuff up, but we also need to conquer South pretty clearly, because that's where that's where the that's where the religious uh, spots are, where our holy sites are, which are the things that we need in order to reform the faith. All right, well, that yeah, there it is. That's gonna be episode one of the dream. Um, I it's gonna be titled episode two because I'm gonna be inter in, interspersing those uh, little short story episodes between episodes of of the actual the playthrough. Um, but you know, listen to those if you if you wanna if you wanna have a, a good little flavor sprinkling into it. Um, go ahead and give that a listen. Otherwise, um, you know, stay tuned. We're, you'll you'll be able to tell the difference between the ones that are. Um, gameplay and the ones that are story because the ones that are story i'll put like a an ai art in front of and the ones that are gameplay i'll probably just do more screenshots because i think this is a beautiful map and i want to share it okay that's uh that's walker take care